Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Raj again. Today I will be doing a heating test on Dell Inspiron 7000 series. This is 7706 2-in-1 PC to be exact. And it does have a newest Intel Core i7 11th generation processor with NVIDIA graphic card as well as 32 GB Optane memory. Basically this one is pretty advanced laptop but some of the viewers were asking me if there is a heating problem with this laptop. So today I'll be testing it. Keep in mind this one is in Fahrenheit. It's, it's been turned off so about 10-15 minutes. So let's see the temperature. Usually it does get warm somewhere this area. Laptop. Normal temperature is 75 Fahrenheit. My hand temperature is 92 point. Normal human temperature is 98.6 Fahrenheit. Please keep in mind anything we touch is if it's around that temperature it seems as normal so right here if I touch it it feels cold so temperature is 81 point let's see the screen temperature now 77.7 .7, even colder what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a video editing software and it definitely going to make it work harder and it might get hot and let's see as you can see now it's a little bit louder so right now it's been exported so previously it was 82 right now it's 92 point it's even below than my hand temperature 94.6 92.2 so it's still doing fine the good thing about this laptop is I can make a tablet of it and I can use a tent mode so when I use tent mode so in this case an air comes out from here and I can feel it has two fans one right here and one in the back and one facing this way so that way when you're using a tent mode or you're using the air comes out from this slot so it's still doing it 97.0 so it's fluctuating a little bit couple of degree here or there but got a little bit warm got to 98.1 so let me put it this way so that way we can check the temperature of the bag okay right here is 100 98.7 the air is blowing right here as well as on the side from the vent side vent it is a little bit warm in the middle how much is temperature showing right here 97.8 same temperature in the back and the front so when it comes to ventilation it's doing pretty good job it's definitely venting out all the heat which is building inside now one thing keep in mind if you're putting it somewhere where you blocking these vents right here i can feel the air coming out this fan does it takes uh, heat from this side and putting out from this if i check the temperature of this side it's 99 101 because right there is all the heat is building up and from here it's venting out it's sucking all the heat it's just vent is blowing out uh, air but still air seems to be i'm doing a video editing in the back and i am running a video on YouTube right now is 98.2 same temperature as we started somewhere we started at 97 and right now is 98.2 pretty same it's only one degree increment when you're doing multiple tasks so let me check the temperature now 98.8 compared to before two degree higher uh, let's see the temperature profile now okay 102 so get a little bit warm here to the touch but it's not really it's just warm let's see in the back So again, do right here, which is the most warm part of it, 104, even 96. So guys, so basically, it's not really uncomfortably warm when you touch it. You see right here is 111, and if I move a couple of inches to the right, 101, which is, and if I go on the side, it's 97. Same on this side. If I go right here it's 89 degrees if i go here it's 98 if i go in the middle 107 so i believe the processor is somewhere right here so this is where it gets warm and same thing on the other side but if i go right here 97.1 it's not really something 
should cause any worry. Keep in mind, there is thermal settings in this laptop changed easily. In my case, I changed it to the optimal performance and it doesn't care about how warm it gets. It's just care about the performance. Now, if you want to, you can definitely load it down and uh, change it to different setting. Let me show you that. Now we are on thermal management. Uh, you can access this by going to Dell Power Manager. There's four options here. So one is optimized, second one is cool, third one is quiet, and the fourth one is ultra performance. And that's what I have chosen it from the beginning. So in this one, it does say that this may mean the higher system surface temperature and more noise. So yes, that's the reason you might hear a fan a little bit and you can feel the temperature a little bit high. Even though in this ultra performance mode, it's 99.2. You see and i'm running one video as well as some other program it does get warm a little bit but there's of course settings you can work on it or even though if you run it on high performance mode still it doesn't get warm where it's uncomfortable uh, that's it so guys uh, i would say this laptop doesn't have any heating problem uh, i can confirm it so if you want to purchase this laptop go ahead and purchase it and it definitely will uh, well spent money this is the end for the video and i will catch you with my next video all right you take care